Hey everyone, it's Nancy, and I want to share my November Design Team Challenge for Wild Arcade Crafts. Um, we received these little book pieces from Natasha as part of our Design Team Challenge for November, and I have like an hour and a minute to post this, and then it'll be December 1st. I mean, really, can you believe that? So I'm going to show you the pieces that comes in this set. This is actually the checkbook cover, so you get the front and the back covers, and you get the hinge binding, and then I guess like a little tag and a hinge for closure. So um, Natasha does have these for sale on her blog as well as the PDF file for the calendar. For those that are interested, I'll put the link down below for you. I did um, get two extra from her so that I can make these for my girls for stocking stuffers. So, this is my completed calendar, and I use the Tim Holtz paper from Crowded Attic. And um, I use the the bindings but I didn't use the center part you see I used tissue tape um, but I'll explain that once I show you how the inside is done but I used all these gorgeous flowers from Wild Arcade Crafts gardenias, open roses, wild roses um, there's the 10 millimeter, 15 millimeter, 25 millimeter just different sizes all in there and I used the metal corners um, on the back and on the front on the corners and I used alcohol inks in four different brown tones and then copper to get them to look like that and I like the way they look kind of blends in pretty nice with the tones of the little calendar and then I used these are the medium brads from water crafts the moonstone ones these are the moonstones and then these are the pearls love these so the whole book was inked with Vintage Photo and Walnut Stain Distress ink. And to attach my pages, I used tissue tape as hinges because it does help to create workable hinges. And I haven't put anything on this side yet. Um, I'm actually going to leave that for her to do so she can add whatever she wants. But the calendar months, they're all in here for 2012 and they fit perfectly once you cut them down they do come on the sheet the PDF file to print so really love the way that it turned out and here you could see um, the tissue tape binding um, the accordion style which was fine but I just covered it because it did have a little bit of stickiness in there and so it's just barely on the edge here and then barely on the edge here but it's staying down fine and these seams were, these pieces were inked with Vintage Photo and Walnut Stain as well. So that's my little project. Super, super cute. Thank you, Natasha, for the challenge. Make sure to check out Wild Crafts. Thanks for watching.